check the condenser for signs of damage and wetness from oil and, and dye. The condenser appears to be in good shape. Yeah. Condenser looks like I'd expect for a car with 24,000 miles on it, but like I said, it's been in a wreck. So you definitely want to look it over good. It's not bent or no side clear in progress. Looks like on this one. Looks like the compressor's wet, but it's not showing me dye. You see that? I'm not sure if it comes up in the video. This has the cooler tube, so the high side runs inside the low side from right here over to the firewall. You can see where they, uh, they found it was more efficient to run the high side through the low side to help reduce temperatures only on these newer cars. So that's also a problem area where they're they'll leak internally and not allow the pressure differential inside to, to pull the evaporator down. So you got to keep your eyes on that and watch the pressure gauges to know. Second stage recovery in progress. Four minutes and 30 seconds. It's low on Freon, so it probably has a leak from something that was damaged in an accident. Second stage recovered in progress. Another three and a half minutes, because it, it said five minutes initially. But this is about the fifth process that the machine goes through before it'll let you have Freon. Stay tuned. You don't want to miss the result. All right, looks like we got past it. Now we're gonna go automatic. We're gonna go make, Honda, model, Civic, Mileage, 24070. On a system with electric compressor using POE oil. No, it has a belt. This holds air conditioning. This holds 0.425 kilograms maximum, which is about nine tenths of a pound. That's gonna take a while. system so you can see these Y1234 rechargers are quick and easy we're charging two hours labor plus $80 a pound for the Freon keep that in mind when you're buying one of these newer vehicles my Tacoma has the Y1234 and I I'm looking forward to the day when I have to service the air conditioning this one is performing condition of internal leak please wait We've been waiting about 20 distribution to the floor. Leak test system with compliant leak detector set at four grams. If the detector alarms a leak is indicated, must be repaired. Is this test performed? Yes. The system free of leaks? Yes. Does the AC system have an auxiliary evaporator? No. Please wait. And we're waiting. And we're waiting. Sometime later, system's working good. Time to suck down the machine. You don't want to leave residual Freon in the hoses. Prepare it for the next car. All right, guys, this one's working good, nice and cold. I think it's got a, uh, I think this one probably has a leaking compressor, but it passed the leak test. And although I see wetness from oil on the compressor, uh, it doesn't look like um, it's going to be too much of an issue. There's no dye evidence on the, uh, on the wet area. 
So we're going to charge this one up and have the customer take the vehicle and see how long the uh, system works. Uh, as soon as it starts to get warm, and have her come back and we'll we'll recheck it and see if we find a wet compressor. Uh, I, I sprayed it all with brake clean and I'll see if it see if it duplicates the problem becomes wet with oil again could be oil from the road or from something else as well so just want to make sure gave the customer an estimate on the um, compressor replacing the compressor it looks like that's what's leaking um, after spraying it with brake clean and running it a little while as it do but we gave him an estimate on the compressor she agreed to uh, drive the vehicle see how long it takes for the system to get warm again you know it may be a year it may be a week uh, I would assume since it passed the leak test, it's going to last at least 30 to 90 days. Uh, we'll see. And then if uh, it does leak down again and it is very wet again around the compressor clutch, uh, then it's going to get a compressor. So by the time you're done parts and labor on this, it's about $1,600 for a compressor and Freon and another evac and recharge, which they'll warranty the labor on the evac and recharge, but not the Freon. So that'll apply to the repair. but. I'm not sure if it's a result of the accident. The vehicle obviously had a front end repair. Now it's only got 24,000 miles on it, but they brought it here and set it back to the dealership, I'm assuming because of the fact that it had a, it was in a front end collision. So let's call this one fixed. I appreciate you guys tuning into the video. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, leave, me a, leave me a comment down below. And uh, if you watch the video all the way through, I really appreciate it. And um, maybe subscribe. I'm going to make some more of these videos. Coming up is going to be a, uh, a toolbox tour. I'm going to do that on my cart and my toolbox. I have, a, I have a pretty big cabinet full of tools. So I appreciate you guys uh, tuning in. We'll see you in the next video.